KJ, you don't take interviews with the rest of the receivers? Nah, I've been in. I was in the weight room doing some other stuff. <laughs> they um, left me. We were just talking to them about guys coming back, you know, the group kind of coming back. What does it mean to have this whole group kind of back together for, for another year? Uh, you know, it shows the maturity level that we will have in the uh, receiving room, and it uh, shows the leaders we have coming back, like Paris and Terry are uh, t uh, captains. So that's a leadership coming from our room, and older guys, like, can help drive the team more this year instead of uh, everybody saying we were young and all that, but we have more experience this year. And so um, I feel like that uh, helped the team out a lot. Obviously, you guys accomplished a lot last year as a receiving group, but is there a sense that you can do more? I mean, even more in yeah. terms of? I feel like we could do more, you know, by getting better this offseason, uh, contributing more in different ways. Where does that start in the offseason? What are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're just doing training right now. Um, just getting bigger, faster, and stronger. How's life going to be without JT? Do you think for this offense? Um, I don't know. You know, we said we were just talking about it the other day when we started throwing. It's a bit weird without JT, but I mean, we're gonna have to uh, have someone else step up. KJ, uh, unlike the other three guys made their decisions, you really didn't even make a decision. Was it set a hundred percent in your mind after the Cotton Bowl that you were coming back? Nah, not really. I had to talk over with my family and stuff, but. The main thing I wanted to come back was because uh, I'm a graduate. I want to graduate and get my uh, degree. And also, I, ha I feel like I have some things to get better at. I asked, I asked Paris this question earlier, but did, did you kind of think, did you think at all after the Cotton Bowl that all four of you guys were sticking around for another year? Uh, 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 honestly, I didn't think so. Uh, but we didn't really talk about it. We just worried about the Cotton Bowl and winning. And then after that, we just went home to our family. So. But I didn't think everybody was going to come back, you know, with people graduating and stuff like that, but it is what it is. How much of, a, of it was a group decision, or was it all just purely individual? Purely individual, but uh, when everybody saw, like, they said they was coming back, we called each other, it was like, oh, you coming? Oh. <laughs> so so kind of Paris's decision was kind of the, kind of what started the momentum for all you guys coming back, you're saying? Uh, I'll say, well, not for me, but I don't know about them over there. So, I don't know. What's the level of excitement? for next year. I mean, I know you, you guys revere JT, but Dwayne's got a great arm, and so do you know, Joe and Tate. And the idea that the passing game may be more diversified, more explosive, how much of that, uh, you know, is that something that you guys have thought about? Uh, yeah, we thought about that. You know, I think that's why some of the reasons people came back, because of that reason, too. And um, I just feel like the uh, offense can be electrifying again with the more of a passing into it. Thank <laughs> you.